ready to get it going? Yeah, what a beautiful day. It is what insanely gorgeous day. out. Man. How is it that there's been a cold front for like, for a, like week a week straight. where we are, and then we come south a couple hours and it's like 75 and just absolutely gorgeous out? Yeah. What yeah. is going on, guys? Today we are back with, I had to do it, Mitchell. I had to hit him with a, yeah. what is going on, guys? Today we are back with another video. Different scenery today. Drove some hours southbound, Mitchell. And we are on the mighty Mississippi River. Now, we just kind of made this transition from, I would say, spring into early summer. We've seen those water temps get into the 60 degree range, especially down here. We're sitting at 60, 63. 63, 64 down here. Yeah. And I'm sure it was probably warmer than that before we got here because it was so cold previously. But we're filming a ton of early summer content in these river systems for the Walleye Now app. We're filming some casting stuff. Um, we're filming some trolling, trolling stuff. Trolling. We're filming a lot of these little specific details for the Walleye Now app. So if you guys want, I always link at the bottom of the video available on the App Store and Google Play and uh, just hit there, get there, click Let's Go Fishing, click Early Summer, click River System, and all this information will be right there. But in today's YouTube video, Mitchell, Mitchell's never been down here in this early summer time frame. No, and I want to show him this super fun pattern, which is blazing crankbaits in really shallow water and catching a pile of these quality Mississippi River eater sized fish. Yeah, the guy said it was going to be a fun and a cool and a, thing that and, he has to show me. So and we'll a see, lot of, we'll see. and a lot of fish. And a lot, and a lot of fish. Yeah. And we're going to be trolling a whole bunch of these shad style crankbaits. So that's kind of the program right now. But uh, I don't want to spend too much time talking because I want to start trolling. Now, last year I did this quite a bit and the river what we were seeing like crazy low water this year the water's like uh it's like just below flood stage i want to say i want to say it's like 11 or 12 feet up from whatever standard metric yeah <laughs> they, which, which you is know, crazy is high. normal it is crazy high. i mean super the water's high. way up in the trees currents really strong and uh yeah we're gonna control some crankbaits in super shallow water and hopefully catch a whole bunch of walleyes today and i guess there's not really much else to say start setting lines right well, get, get the motor fired up let's do some trolling. Yeah, and we'll go into all this, some of these specifics, obviously, but we gotta get the motor fired up, even for some additional thrust from the back. And uh, we'll see you guys when we start catching fish. Cruising at three and a quarter right now. Uh, that could also be why he thought it looked nice. Hit pretty hard. He did hit pretty hard. Hit pretty hard. We got another homie doing the same thing we're doing here. Mm-hmm. Real. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's kind of giving me maybe not walleye vibes. Yeah. Though. Right there, it kind of seems to get a little crazy on us. It just Feel came it. through the old shoreline, and I put the baits in some bushes. Had to clear a few off. Is it a netter? Yeah, no. You can flip them. Nice walleye, though. Nice walleye. And this is what this bite is just known for, isn't it? Absolutely. We clipped that other line, but that's all right. Yeah, I thought I did. Okay. Massive amount numbers of these fish this time of year. And we, for the first one, Mitchell, we are, you got a so tangled. Yeah, there. we did. <laughs> the joy of trolling. And it's crazy because we only have four rods. We're used to running six or eight. Oh, we're running them all down, too. You got him there? You're yep. just gonna leave the entanglement for me? Oh yeah, I got you know I gotta show off my my catch. Alright. Gotta show off my catch. Jeez, this guy. Just more chaos already, right off the bat. This little guy, but hey. You know, there's more to come. Oh, right there, yeah, there Mitchell's right there. Fish on. Back of the boat. I'm saying nice walleye, Mitchell. Are you? It was just kind of hanging down there, wasn't it? Yeah, but he did the kind of initial boom, boom, and then just wait, right? Yeah, I, d I didn't see that part. I just looked up and uh, saw there was a fish on. I saw what you saw. Would you like uh... And I'm a And then maybe it's not a walleye. It's got to be a nice walleye. Though. I think so, because he's just, yeah. I'm pretty we'll sure see. that is. We'll see what we got. Oh, yeah, nice walleye. Nice walleye. Keep his head down. I'm Keep his head that. down. Now he's going berserk right at the boat here, Mitchell. I'm grabbing that for you on this one. Are you gonna scoop them for me? Yeah, yes ma'am. Just to make sure oh. we Man. do our best here, like we're oh. fishing a tournament. Nice fish, yep. Oh, 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 oh. He saw the net, he saw the net. Oh my get gosh. Get him, get him, get him, boy. <laughs> okay, there we you go. You got him? Yeah. He just like shot in once yeah. we got him in there. Number two, nice yeah. fish, and that's all this bite's yeah. about. Here's a lot better fish right there, that's what we're after. Tom's uh, dealing with the chaos that is trolling and. Oh, a 20 inch, yeah? Yeah, probably 20 inches. Nice, so, nice, nice. Got a little mess back here. 
You clean me up because I gotta keep okay. us just outside of I this got you. I got you. grass line. Did you restart it? Let me get this. Not yet. Uh, oh. 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 So what we're doing here is we're almost trolling like the shoreline or the what the old shoreline was, and you know the water's up pretty high, so we get into about six feet of water and I can see the old shoreline. It's real brushy, obviously. Grass, brush, all that river scrub on the shoreline. And I'm keeping us basically just right outside of that with the side imaging. And so far, so good. Whoa, whoa, Mitchell right there. That's a better another fish. Another one, another one. There we go. That's a nice fish right there. Awesome. Oh, the camera's still rolling because I didn't shut yep, it off. Yep, yep, yep. Well, that's good. That's good. Is that Take good? Take your time. Trolling pretty quick straight into the current. And a lot of times you'll get in these, these wolf packs of fish on little sweet spots, kind of where we're coming out of some slack water and pushing into some areas with some more current. Want me to run the boat quick or? If anything, I'll have you just net them here. Okay. Oh yeah, I think it's gonna be a nice fish. Unless it's a big sheep. Definitely need some teamwork when it comes to this stuff though, right? Oh, well, boat, right? con boat control is just so important. It is crucial. Like this. Like, I'll take a screenshot for you guys right here off the graph. This oh, is yeah. what this-, this Nice is, walleye back there. This is what this old shoreline looks like here. And I'm trying to keep us just skirting just outside of that stuff. Real nice walleye. When you're mm -hmm. trolling, you do not want their head to really come out of the water. It's all right to skate them, but you don't want them shaking way up. So you can see I'm just holding the rod down and loaded up and just kind of reeling steady. And Mitchell's gonna go ahead and scoop them here. Here he comes, Mitchell. There he is, another nice walleye right there. <laughs> it's a fun pattern, isn't it? It absolutely is a you never fun done this. pattern. Have you ever, you've never been down here with me before for this, have No, you? it's my first time this time of year actually yeah. doing this. And it's, it's super obvious fun. Tom is dialed in on this little pattern here. Well, it took a little bit of looking around for the usual, time. but there you go. You know, another nice, I don't know, 17 inch pudgy Mississippi River walleye. We're obviously just letting them go right now, but it is a fun pattern. We hope we'll probably try a few different areas and hopefully kind of you know, within a little bit of time here, we'll yeah, kind of really have their coordinates all dialed in, huh? No idea where it is. You can get, you can get a copy. Yeah, but can I get it in time? Oh, 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 Mitchell, Mitchell, Mitchell. Oh, there we go. I'm over here talking about my uh, hunter safety card for Iowa deer tag, and Tom's catching walleyes. Yeah. Let me go fix this rod. Decent little walleye here. Decent little walleye. I'll go ahead and grab him, grab him. And we are in a bunch of fish, Mitchell, aren't we? Oh! We are, ooh. And like them? I said in the beginning, you could do some things, which we might do later in the day, or make a decent video, or another video or something about just going after some larger fish, but there you go, it's a little 15 incher. This style of fishing yields so many of these, I would say, 15 to 21 inch fish. Yeah, a bunch. And the system's full of them. And it is a phenomenal way to come down and just catch a ton of fish. And for us, we've obviously been, oh my gosh, where have we been? Green Bay, Leech Lake, um, all over northern Wisconsin. Yeah. And you know, it's been a lot of jig fishing, Mitchell. And it feels good to get the trolling sticks out. Besides anything at nighttime, which would have been in Green Bay, that's the first time we've trolled yeah, in It feels a good while. to be out doing something that's not jig fishing. Obviously, jig fishing is an awesome way to fish, but when you walleye fish every day, Having a diverse bite is always a good time. All right guys, so we just uploaded, we shot some content on exactly where we're doing a lot of this trolling stuff. And that information will be found on the Walleye Now app. Hit Let's Go Fishing, go to Early Summer, click River Systems, watch that video right there. We'll title that one something to the effect of like um, shallow water trolling locations video. But I wanted to kind of talk about some of the baits we're fishing. And I am in love with these baits as Mitchell's know. Mitchell's nose. Mitchell's. And this is, there's f three different sizes of them right yep. here. This is the Rappel Shad Dancer. And this color is called Fire Crop, I believe. Now, this bait is very near and dear to my heart. And if you can find the size, the number five size, I will buy all of them that you can find. <laughs> But the number four size and the larger size of a catch and fish as well. And I know these are readily available. And it's this very 
like hard knocking type of action. And this style of bait is just, it's been just unbelievably effective for me down here on a lot of these river systems. Really anytime throughout the summer, we fish it on lead core, we fish it flatlining in really shallow water like this. We're running a lot of these into heavy current or into a decent amount of current in four to seven feet of water. And we're running a lot of line lengths of 30 to like 55 feet back. And this is the Shad Dancer number four. If I could only have two sizes, it'd be the four and the five. And I got a whole box of colors, but this color, this, this fiery craw color just always seems to do really well. And uh, it's kind of got this really hard knocking, aggressive style of action that when you troll it up really fast speed into current, it really knocks hard. Now, shad wraps are a great bait as well. And we've caught fish on shad wraps as well. I just think, um, the uh the shad dancer was just so productive we just kind of stuck with that you know a lot of your shad wrap sixes five sevens depending how much current you have the one thing to remember when you're trolling into a lot of current is you're naturally going to have to let more line out because that bait's getting hit by it. you're going fast into the current so you're letting a lot more line out to achieve depth and these shad dancers they got this big aggressively lipped bill like this they do very well in the current and that's what one i mean they're just kind of the perfect bait for the perfect situation the shad style bodies of bait in the early summer time frame is a good option everywhere whether that's a shad wrap a jointed shad wrap the shad dancers like we have a lot of the foragies fish are eating walleyes all over the midwest right now is that classic early summer size about like that whether that is shad like out here maybe or perch you know in a different body of water so a lot of different options um, but you know classically if you're going to go to river systems time of year shad wraps jointed shad wraps um, you know baits like this here the jointed shad wrap in that fiery craw color um, or the shad dancers great options this time of year so let's get back to trolling put a few more fish in the boat fish 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 get them get them you all you it's all you, Mitchell. All right, all right. How's he feeling? Feels halfway decent. Halfway decent? Halfway decent. Six feet of water. And uh, as we're kind of moving around, trying a few different little areas, we uh, went probably several hundred yards without a fish. Oh, nice walleye. Can oh, I yeah. scoop him? Nice fish. We're going to scoop him. Keep him down, keep him down. Keep them sliding, keep them sliding. I'm the little inside five footer, huh? Yeah, I love these little See five See if I can spin rods. the GoPro back here to Start capture some of this you. both side action. Nice walleye. Oh yeah, nice fish. Dude, this is such a crazy high volume bite. There we go. <laughs> it is such a crazy high volume bite. It really is. That it seems like when you're really in them, it's fast paced. I don't know how well like the video is telling that story, how it's just kind of like we get in an area and it's boom, 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 boom. But uh, it's a pretty good afternoon. We've really only been filming probably now for I'll a couple a of hours. Go. Nice fish right there. Beauty. We'll take them like that. Like I said, we've only been filming for a couple of hours now, but uh, in a couple, first spot we started down, we only got one fish, bounce spots, caught a bunch, bounce spots again, and we're catching fish again now. Good work, Mitchell. Back into the muddy Mississippi River water. There must be bottom. Oh, there's a fish. It's a fish, dude. Oh yeah. Oh, whoa. Is it a walleye? I don't know, but I just saw a flash of it and it's big. It is a walleye. It's a really nice walleye, Mitchell. Big. Yeah, it's a really nice walleye. Yeah. You just let that bait out too. I can tell it's somehow wound up on this. Oh, wow. Yeah, I just stalled the boat out. That's yeah. So nice. Let's see what we got <laughs> going on here. I think you're on it. Let me try to back up. Yeah, just keep backing up. We do not want to lose this one. Don't want to lose this guy. Keep tension, keep tension, keep right. tension. Got him? Yeah, okay, you're nice. free, you're free. There we go. We're going so fast, I like to bring him in right on this side. We're going so fast, I kind of want to... Oh. <laughs> He's not quite as big as I thought he was. No, he, nice no, he looked... Though, isn't he? Yeah, he looked really big when he flashed out there. Yeah, and that was... Dude, I mean, that had to come out of four feet of water. I just whipped into that corner. Yeah, I literally just let it out, too. I think it, like, smashed bottom once. Boom. Quality, quality fish on right there. That's what we're after. It's a fun pattern, isn't it? Oh, it's a blast. I get them unhooked and give you guys a look. It's just, like, this constant in and out, touching bottom here, reel up a little bit, let a little line out, reel up a little bit, smashing bottom, weaving in and out of the corners, and <laughs> catching fish in super super skinny water oh yeah yep, there we go it's good fish there not nearly as big as we had thought i mean we even 
His mouth looked big, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, he looked big. He looked really big. We stopped the boat for this guy, but... Uh, Real stout one. Yeah, good fish though. Get him back in. Do it again and again and again. Fish on the top. Oh, there we go. There we go. And it's just looking sheep's head. It's already on the surface. Hard to say. It actually looks like a walleye. Yeah, it actually is a walleye. <laughs> That's how shallow we're trolling. That one got something going on? Yeah. I think he's hooked uh, like in the cheek or something here. Oh, what they're trolling so shallow that a lot of times when these fish are biting, they're just busting right out of the water like that. I think we do have a decent walleye on here, though. Yeah, it is for sure. I'm going to oh, see nice. if I can ski them. There we go. Now they're, if we get this fish in, which it looks like we're going to, because we got him skating. You got him. You got him. Flip him. Flip him. He's got He's hooked all goofy. Oh. Look at that thing, though. <laughs> Look how that guy got hooked. He got it in the cheek, he got it in the chin. He got it all over. That's why he was feeling like he was a four pounder back there for a little while. But this is what this bite is all about. And I've done this for a couple of a couple of seasons now, came down here for this this time frame. And this is just always seems to be an effective way to fish. Oh god, he's all spunky now. And it's always piles and piles of nice walleyes down here on the river this time of year. Water's warming up, they're all nice and happy, they're feeding heavy, and they're just scarfing down crankbaits at a high speed, and there he goes, back in the water. And it has been a fun couple hours, hasn't it, Mitchell? Oh, it's been a blast. Super fish unique way fish. to fish. Yeah, definitely. Can't do this everywhere, but it is an incredibly productive way to sure. fish on these river systems this early summer time frame. All right, I wanted to interrupt the fish catching quick. I just got another email um, of uh, some stuff that we have going on, and June 5th, Mitchell, is the date, and June 5th, what is going on? Let me pull up my phone, I got too much stuff going on, so I forget everything. June 5th, I will be in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, at Shields, delivering another awesome seminar, another awesome kind of variation of the Walleye Now seminar, and it's been a ton of fun kind of going to all the Shields. Mitchell can even attest to that. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun, meeting everybody and seeing all the questions that get asked. I mean, yeah, it's a super fun time. Good time. Awesome seminar. Uh, it's cool to see people like taking notes, asking questions, all that kind of stuff. So that one will be, I'll link it down below. Um, and they do kind of an awesome thing where like you buy a ticket for it's like 15 or 20 bucks or something. And then they just give you the money back in a gift card. So, I mean, 15, 20 bucks, we could probably all spend 15, 20 bucks on fishing stuff. Am I right, Mitchell? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> At a bare minimum. What a day. <laughs> what a corny thing to say. What a day. What a day. What a day. It is what a day though. It it's is like unbelievable. It's 70 degrees out, the sun is shining, the birds are chirping. It is. The grass is green. Mitch is still complaining about being too hot and it's too sunny out and it's too whatever out, aren't you? This guy just doesn't stop. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is going to do it for today's video, guys. And uh, it was a fun one, but we kind of got down here mid-morning, trolled for a few hours and uh got this fun little youtube video caught a pile of walleyes i don't know how many like the shorter ones we'll probably even put in the video but a lot of those quality 15 to 20 inch kind of keeper size fish would you say yeah yeah we caught a lot of small ones that probably won't be in here like you said but i mean it was sheep's just, head white bass yeah a pike bass. Uh, a large mouth bass yeah, everything. it was just a little bit of everything but yeah mm -hmm. it was just one after another i mean you can sit still for more than what five ten minutes yeah, or something like much. that so. rods going on constantly when you're in fish but yeah. we're gonna take the rest of the day and we're actually gonna go film some locational stuff for the walleye out now app kind of highlight some of the structures we're fishing when we're catching fish right now we're also gonna go touch on kind of a, a casting bite too so hopefully you guys kind of enjoyed watching this video super fun trolling bite go down to your favorite river right now troll some of those shed body crankbaits really fast into the current and you could probably pile up um, a lot of walleyes this time of year. It's a super fun bite, but I appreciate you guys watching. Um, yeah, I already said the North Dakota, South Dakota Shield seminar stuff. I'm looking forward to doing those. Links are down in the description, and uh, I don't think there's a whole lot else. Stay tuned for more content. If you guys are not subscribed, please do that. We'll see you next time.